So let's go in here and we'll start this. Don't forget about control minus and control plus zooms in and out. So one of the first things I always do because if I can't see it. So anyway, the first one, task instructions. So at the top document, centered above the position to insert a star deal for the star banner supply shapes gallery. Okay, so we're gonna go in here, we're gonna insert mm -hmm. and from the shapes, and then under the banners and stars. So if we go clear down here, scroll down, we'll see banners and stars. We want this four the four star it says the third first row option three the stars and banners and now when i go to draw this it wants me to start right here in the center so i'm trying to get the center right here at the top of my page so as i drag down i might be on a little bit left but as you'll see as i drag this down now if i don't get in the right spot so it says to make it about as big as the builders there so i kind of have the right right spot here now i'm going to um so i have to retry that again so i had the wrong Oh, and then it took it that time. So sometimes, and then it jumped on my task list. So what I was trying to do is hold down my control or shift key to, to remove that around. So anyway, but yeah, if, if that screws up, you just have to kind of start there at the top and drag it down to where it gets in that position. It's kind of a pain, to be honest. Okay, this one, delete the text box with the heading set the date. So I'm looking for this text box down here. I just click on it once and I hit my delete key. So make sure you have the edge. You're not inside the text box. You're right on the outside of it. This is kind of a tough one here. They wants me to rotate this one 157 degrees. So I select this. I go to Format. Over here will be a Rotate, and I can go to More Rotation Options. Then in here is the Rotate Options, and I just click in here, and I type 157 and hit Enter, and it rotates at 157 for me. Wrap text around the picture using the through text. So when I have this, I select this, and then I can bring this up. And the through text, and you use these enough times, you know, you kind of figure out where they're at. So this one says the um, third one under with the text wrapping. So this would be this behind through text in front of maybe in the wrong position. So let's go in here. It says, okay, wrap the text around the picture using through text wrapping. So the easiest way I think to do this is go up here to format and then go up here to wrap text. There's a position. So there's one that's a position, one's a wrap text. And I'm just going to pull this one through. And go through text. So yeah, I could have found it over there, but yeah, it's just I hate you up there is there. Okay, select these three options. So there's three pictures here, and I really can't see them. So one of the first things I want to start before I ever start this, so I'm gonna hit control minus once. Actually, I'm gonna hit control minus twice because I want to be able to see these three objects to select them. So and then what I'm gonna do is click the first one and I'm holding down the shift key and shift key to select the three objects. Now that I have them selected, I can go over here to format. The first thing I want to do is go to line. So when I come down to line, I need to align these objects. So I need to align selected objects, the first choice. So that aligns now whenever I move them together. So first it says to align that, use the line. Now I'm going to use align right. So now I come back in here and align. And I need to align them to the right. And now I need to distribute vertically. So I go back into align and distribute vertically. So there's three different steps there, and that's, yeah, first you've got to align all the objects, then you align right, and then you align district group. Uh, apply the shape style color field, so line X and green. So what I do is I pick the shape, come in format, and then come up to colors. And so this would be the shape fill, is what I want to see. Apply the shape style colored fill line shape style. So I need to pull this one down here. So there's state theme styles here, and then it wants this line green, which is the second option, fourth column. So this is colored on there. Lime accent three, that one. Add a half point outline to the cube using the gold accent tool. Okay, so this one I want to do the cube, then I want to come into format, and then I want to do outline. The first thing I'm going to do is the gold accent 2, which is the sixth option. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is this one here. So gold accent color 2. And now I'm going to come back in and add a half point. So come into the weight. A half point. I did that in two steps. This is another way to do that with just one step. Anyway, add the text, see more tips. And so one of the big problems we have with shapes here is you go try to type and it won't type. You have to right click and add text. Now we can type inside here. 
we type see more tips on our website an exclamation point well if you don't spell it right or anything it will not go on to correct so you're just going to spell it now this one wants me to apply the shadow shape effect offset center the second option second column the outer section to the star shape so i pick the star shape come up to format now i have to figure out what am i playing here so i'm playing a shadow shape effect offset so it says shadow shape effect come to shape effects <clears throat> it's under shadow and that's under offset down here Oops, shadow and then come over here and what am i supposed to see apply the shadow shape effect offset center Second of and the outer section. So second, this one here, offset center. <clears throat> Sorry about that. In the blank paragraph at the end of the document, insert the online picture by using. Okay, so they want me to insert online picture. So I go to insert, and then I have to go to online pictures. Bing pops up here, so I go to plan. So I click in this box and type plan. And then I hit enter, and then this first one right here, I just click on it. And I can double click it or I can click it once and hit insert. Resize the picture to 180%. So when you go and select the picture, come to format, go over here to sizing box, and we need to come in here and we go to the little dialog box up here, and then come down here to size. Now we need to lock the aspect, aspect ratio. Because as we change the height, we want to change the width 180. So the first thing you have to do is check that. Now I can come in here and change this to 180 degrees and hit OK, and that will change them both. Recolor picture using washout. So I come in here, I pick the picture, go to format, go over here to color, and then wants me to use the washout setting under the recolor. So I come down to the middle, and it's the first row. Fourth option, first row. So it should be this one, should be washout. Select the graphic, the gray clip, top send the clipper. Okay, so to do transparent, what they want to do is take this gray out of the clipper. So I have to select the graphic. I have to come over here to format. I have to come into artistic effects. Oops, wrong one. I'm sorry. Transparency. Let me do that again. Select the graphic, go to format, come to transparency. We had this picture transparency option. Let me retry this. I screw that up again. Okay, let's try it one more time. I select the. God dang it. Let me try this test. Select the graphic. Don't move it. Now be very careful. Go to format. I'm doing this very deal. So, what they want me to do is select the graphic. I set the gray clip to top center clipboard to transparent colors. I have to pull color up. I have to go down here to set transparent colors where I kept screwing up here. Once I get that, I get a big arrow over here, and I need to come in and just click on the gray to remove the gray. This task here is change the brightness, contrast the picture of the kitchen. So I pick this one. I come over here to format again. Come in, and this one's artistic effects brightness. So change the brightness and contrast. So oh, I think it's under corrections. I'm sorry, it's under corrections. Brightness and contrast. So it's under corrections here, and I want the first option, third column. First option, third column. Oops, first option, third column. So this one right here. Okay, I'm back. So we're going to add a border to this picture. So I click on the picture, format. So it says to add border. So I go to border here, and it wants to use the gold accent to darker 50%. I think it's the last one here. No, that's accent six. One so gold accent two. So it'd be this one. Gold accent two, darker fifty percent border. Copy the orange rectangle and paste it to the blank paragraph. The deal. So this, just click this rectangle, copy it, and then just come down here and right click and paste it. Control plus and kind of zoomed out so this is a little small. You probably can't even see what I'm doing. Okay, move the PB picture to left aligns the text document. To do this, I just take the picture and then with my mouse, so this is the move icon, so you diff get different icons, but this, I just move it over here to the left, and you'll see these green arrows come up, and I'll know when it's kind of in place, you know, kind of moving around here. So you need one up, one here, one right there, so I get them two arrows and let it go. So you'll get the two arrows across them now.
Position the picture and contract using the position in the middle left square text wrapping first option. So this one here, we're going to do it, and then we're going to go into format, and this is the position one. So unlike the wrap text, we want the position, and then we want to use the first option, second row. So that'd be this one here, position middle text wrapping. Flip the picture horizontally. Love these. Just click the picture, go to format, come up here to um, rotate, and then just flip horizontally. Place the insertion point in the front of the date and the table credit line and insert a copyright sign. So right here we have to go right in front of that date. We come over here to insert symbols. Go over here to the far right. Open the symbols up, and the copyright should be right there. If this wasn't there, you would go into more symbols, and then under wingdings, usually the copyright's on the wingdings, and you'd find it in there. But this happens to be one I recently used. They set it that way and then closed this. So if I would just clicked it over there, it would have been one step where I did too. Apply an outside border to the letter pair starting with precision ending. So they want me to select all this, and then just apply a border. And when I apply that border, they want an outside border, so it's this one right here. Clear the formatting from what do you want to achieve. So I just, what do you want to achieve? Select that. When I come up here to styles, paragraph styles, there's probably a couple different ways of doing this. But um, I'm trying to remember I did this last time. I want to clear all the formatting. And it is. Uh, no. I can't remember how to do this. Was it under design? How did I do this last time? Under layouts. Clear the paragraph formatting. Clear the formatting for what do you want to achieve. Oh, I remember now. I go to home. I go in here, styles, pull this down, and I just want no, no um, formatting. So just um, normal, I think, is what I want to do. Nope, I got clear. Damn it. So I got to pull this down, and I had clear formatting. There it is. So I don't have it selected. I want to make sure I have that selected. Pull this style down and go clear formatting. Well, I made that one a lot harder it had to be. Do me a sec to remember how to do that. In the set, the tab, four inches, then press tab to align the date. So I'm in the date here. When you want to apply a tab, four inches, now I could click here, but I'd have to be right on that four to set this left tab, and it would be a left because it's showing me a left tab. I think it's easier just going here to paragraphs, come down here to tabs, say I want tab stop at four inches. <clears throat> it's going to be left, set that, say OK, and then hit tab to put that over there. I could have went up and just clicked on the ruler right there at four inches, and if I would have nailed that, it would have been fine. This one, they want me to clear this tab stop. So I can go in there, and I can do the same thing, clear all tab stops. Or I can just click on this, make sure I'm right on this little L tab stop. When I click on, hold down my mouse, and drag straight down, and rips it off that ruler and takes it away. Move the tab stop for the date 4.5. <clears throat> so we click on this date to get this tabs off, and they want to move this. And that's what I'm saying about being careful. Like, if I go over here and I can get it right on this 4.5, if I'm off a little bit, it's going to be wrong. You know, you just got to get dead set on 4.5. The L's going to be right on there. Place the insertion point in the blank paragraph above the address, and then insert the current date, month, day, format. The third option. I had a heck of a time with this one. So place the insertion point above the address. Insert. I don't know if I'm going to get this one right. I got it wrong. It was date. How did I do this last time? I remember I went out and I watched this. Um, insert the date. I'm not sure. I'm days, days, date, 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 symbols, equations, date and time. Retry. Now I'm getting close. I just, <clears throat> I don't know where the heck this means this. I thought it was right here that they wanted it. And then I went over to insert and let me try the date and time. Object. Maybe I just, it says, because it's telling me from the third, third option when I pull date and time, this is not going to give me the option. And there's no text box here. <clears throat> so I know I'm doing this wrong. I have to come back to this one. Hang on a sec. I'm going to pause this for Okay, I am back, and I'm doing it right. So I don't know if it's above this address or above this address is what 
So place the search point in the blank paragraph above the address. I know I'm not doing it right, so I tried in front of that one. Let's try above, you know, I would think it'd be right up here, but it won't let me click in there. I cannot click in this line, this paragraph above this. You know, if I put it in front, but yeah, you just, you know, go in there to insert and then date. That's how they're showing it, you know, in the text field. Um, I can go to object and go down to, you know, object. And, uh, it's not going to let me do it, but I, yeah, I think it's just above the deal. I insert the date. I'm going to insert, and I'm getting it wrong, so I'm just going to miss this one, I think, because it should pop up in the box. And, you know, in the box there, it should have told me, so I was just in the right spot. Task instructions. So in the space below the Precision Builders and Dedicated Paragraph, insert a table, two columns, five rows. So right here in this space, and I go to insert, and then I go to table. And when I pull this down, I want two columns and five rows. So I go one, two, three, four, five. This one, enter risky in the first empty box. So I click this one, and I type risky, and then tab over. And this one here, they want disruptive. Disruptive, make sure I type them right. So I use tab to move around side tables. Apply the table grid five dark style. So when I pick this table, I want to pick the whole table. So I have it selected there. And then I go up to design and table styles here. And then they want me to come down to, I think it's the third option, seventh column. So I think it's this one here. They want grid table five dark. Actually, yep, that one. Select the second table row. So I'm just going to click in this row right here. Now, you can go out here and do it. I understand. I always just click, and everybody does it different, but I'm just holding down my mouse as I drag it across. When I have that row selected, I let go. Um, I think you can go out there and select with a black arrow. You want to make sure you don't have the you know. Insert the row above return investment. So we're looking with the return investment here, so we got to be in here. So like I said, you can do this, but when we right click, we need to insert row. So we need to insert row above. So I put the row above. Now we need to come over to this over here and we want to insert one to the left. So I right click and insert to the left of cons. Select the table. You just come over and click on this little box, select the whole table. That one's easy enough. I like those that I know how to do. Now delete the table from the document. Same thing, I just select this table. Now this one here I got wrong before because I pressed the delete. What they want you to do is select this table, then right click over here and go to delete table. So you just have to be in the table when you right click. Place the insertion point immediately after the space at the end of the second line of the fourth body paragraph of press pay. This was a pain in the butt. So right here, behind this 8 a.m., make sure you're behind this space, you're going to hit backspace. To put a non-breaking space in, you have to hold control, shift, and push the space bar. So, that, yeah. so you have to hold control, shift, with one hand, and then press the space bar one time. Format the box border around the paragraph starting with one and adding in appliances. So down here, they want this to format this box border. They want me to just pull this down and go to borders and shadings. So, and then we're going to use, when I bring up border shadings, they want me to go down to this eighth one, which is the triple line one. They want me to change the color here, which is the um, gold accent six, the last option, first row. And then they want me to change this to one and a half points and say, okay. Use the format painter, cut the formatting from precision builders. So I don't have to select the whole precision builders, any part of it. And then when I select that, this format painter, I want to make sure that's on. So you see how it's grayed there. Now I know it's on. So I go down here and select, and I need to highlight this. Now I got to be careful. I hold my mouse button down. I do not let go until I get the whole precision builders. And that paints that, or uses that format to paint that on there. I love that tool. Place the insertion point in the blank line at the end of the document. So there's a blank line down here. Then insert a vertical box list smart art graphic. So I go to insert, I go to smart art graphics. And then I want the vertical box list. So vertical box list. It doesn't tell me which one. I think that's it. Vertical box list. Click that, say OK. This one, change the smart art to use the step up layout. So I have to click on the smart art graphic, go up here to design, and then I want the layouts over here. And then the step up is the second 
choice, first option, second column. So this is the step up. Enter value in the fourth smart art shape. This one's easy. We just click there, and then I can start typing value. If I start typing, it wouldn't go in. Then I'd have to add text, but that one smart art shapes do let you. This one here, it needs to add another deal. So what I have to do is click in here. I have to go up here to insert, and I have to um, add a shape to the smart art goal three. I'm sorry, I have to go to design when I have that, and then I can go to add shape. And I want to add shape after. Now, I need to right click here. I need to, oh, maybe I don't need to type goal three. So I got this one wrong last time because I kept trying to add it text and I didn't have to. Smart art shapes, you don't have to worry about that. Create and print an envelope, recipient address. This is kind of a tricky one. So what we do is just take his address here, highlight it, we'll go up here to mailings. Come over and click on envelopes. It's got the right one. We just hit print. That would print us an envelope. Add alternate text to the remodeled kitchen. So when I go to this picture, I need to go to format. I need to come to alt text. And then I just type remodel kitchen. And now when I close this, it should go into there. This is correct. Change the smart art color gradient loop accent to. So I got to pick this, go to design, and I'm trying to change the colors. So I want to change colors, and they want me to pick the fourth option and the accent two groups. I come down here and I want this fourth option. I've completed all the tasks except for that one. At this point, my score is going to be 98%, so that's good enough for me. Um, this is kind of small when you do it, you know, like I always said, control plus will make this bigger because when you snip this for the teacher, so I'm going to take the snipping tool and I'm going to go new snip so it pops up. I have my snipping tool and then I make sure I get this it's big enough because my teacher is a little bit older. So it shows my name, score and that and I just turn that into Canvas. Hopefully that will help you finish this assignment.